My name is Tim Little. I'm the Associate Dean of Engineering at the Faculty of Engineering at Dalhousie University. And I'd like to welcome you to our Previews Days presentation. It's a short presentation to try and help you with information that you might need to help you make that decision as to whether you would like to join us in the Faculty of Engineering at Dalhousie University. Uh, I've brought along with me our retention specialist, and I'd like her to introduce herself now. Hi, I'm Karen Hemsworth. I'm the manager of student engagement at Dalhousie for engineering students. So my job is to keep engineering students in school, make sure they have everything they need. I work very closely with Dr. Little and the director of the core program uh, to help students um, with any issues that they might have. First of all, I'd just like to remind you what engineering is. Uh, engineering is all about designing and creating. Uh, it's problem solving. It's, it's bringing solutions to help people's problems. And we do that using science and technology. Uh, we do that through complex uh, thinking processes that we try to understand what's going on, how is it working, what does it need to improve, and how can we use all these concepts to provide the solutions that uh, people need in their day-to-day -day lives. Our program is a four-year program, and uh, if you do a co-op degree, uh, it'll be an additional year, up to five years. It starts off with your Diploma of Engineering, which is the first two years of our program. Uh, the first two years are common to all students. They all take the same courses, so you get a chance to get to know your, uh, uh, your, uh, your peers. Uh, the first three ter terms, everybody takes exactly the same courses, and it's in the winter term of the second year that you start to uh, branch off into your specific discipline. Um, in advancing to year three, uh, it is necessary for you to have completed all 23 courses of the first two years. You need to have a, a GPA of 2.0 or better, uh, and then you have to have uh, an application in uh, for a placement that holds your place in the particular discipline that you're interested in. And then you advance to years three and four, uh, and complete your Bachelor of Engineering, or if you do the co-op sequence in those final two years, it may take you five years, but you end up with a Bachelor of Engineering with a co-op distinction. The first uh, two years of your program are foundational years, uh, and as you can see from the courses that you'd be taking, uh, they're sort of math and physics and chemistry and sort of basic uh, courses that allow you to have a good grasp of uh, how the physical world works. Uh, you'll also notice that there's design in there and programming. So there are engineering things that we do in the first uh, two years uh, that give you the foundation that you need to be able to complete and be successful in the discipline that you choose. So with engineering, you have to take, um, usually you're taking six courses at a time throughout the program. And it's kind of difficult to get your schedule to work out if you're trying to do your schedule on your own. So what we have at, in engineering at Dalhousie is block registration. You don't need to make your own schedule. All your tutorials and labs will be fitting, fit together perfectly with a block. So if you have a friend, for example, who's in the engineering program and you want to take your labs and tutorials together, you'll be um, directed to take the same block, choose the same block when you do your registration. We have a video that makes it really easy um, so you don't have to make your own schedule. We have that all settled for you. So we have six disciplines uh, in the Faculty of Engineering at Dalhousie, chemical engineering, civil engineering, electrical and computer engineering, environmental engineering, industrial engineering, and mechanical engineering. These are the foundational disciplines that uh, most uh, uh, universities across Canada have as their core components. And uh, with those, you can do almost any form of engineering that you're interested in. Uh, the process is, in, in your first year, you're in a common uh, core. Uh, at the end of your first year, uh, you apply and you tell us through a means of a survey of which of these programs you are most interested in. So you'll give us a ranked priority of what discipline you would like to go into. Uh, all students are uh, taken, we take their, their grades, their GPA, and we rank them. Uh, and the students that have a GPA of 3.3 or greater will get their first choice, whatever their first choice happens to be. 
uh, they will be immediately given that first choice. Uh, if you have a GPA between 2.0 and 3.3, uh, we'll take the highest GPA, and if the uh, program that they're interested in is still uh, has still spaces in it, you will get it. Uh, if the program that you're interested in doesn't have any spaces left, it's full, then you will get your second choice. And we work on way down until we get down to the student that has 2.0 as their GPA, and, and all of those students get placed into one of the six programs. In the third and fourth year, uh, we have uh, the co-op op option, and uh, it's a matter of taking three or four four-month co-op terms in industry. Uh, we have a co-op office that uh, helps you um, find those jobs and, and uh, apply for those jobs and prepare for those jobs. Uh, and this gives you an opportunity to uh, have some time in industry, see how that works. Uh, see if you like a particular form of, uh, of your discipline, uh, get to meet uh, other engineers, uh, find out how uh, things work in, in industry so you can prepare your career. And uh, so we have co-op uh, students that work in Nova Scotia, all across Canada, and in fact, all around the world. And so we have a, a great co-op uh, program. And the co-op program, uh, if you do three, four-month uh, work terms, it counts towards your registration as a professional engineer if that's the career choice that you choose upon leaving the university. Okay, we get student supports, and I'm going to let Karen talk about uh, the many, many student supports that we have at Dalhousie. So the best part about my job is I get to have the stronger students help some of the students who might be struggling or just starting out. So our second year students uh, volunteered to be peer mentors to our first year students. So when you're a first year student, you're going to have somebody you can talk to who's just been there and knows what it's like um, managing your schedule, figuring out where you can eat or where you can clean your clothes, things that you don't might not think about before you get to school. Um, supplemental instruction is another thing that we have that um, foc focuses on the classes that people struggle with rather than the students who are struggling with the classes early alert, I'll check in with all of the um, faculty members or the instructors for the courses to see if any students need any extra help or any supports. Um, student advocacy is something that I really enjoy. Um, I work with the student societies to um, get them everything that they need. Um, women in engineering, I work really closely with them. Um, DES is the student society for the first two years and then dues covers all of the four years that you're there so I work really closely with the um, those students to see what they need help with and then they work to help me with um, programming to help other students so it's a really great situation um, the BISSET Student Success Center is on the upper campus of Dalhousie where most of the first year courses are um, and that's where they do all the first year academic advising so if somebody were to uh, for example want to take a different um, different route, maybe do the, the two-year diploma in three years, for example, they should talk to an academic advisor and help set that up. Um, when you're on the uh, second, third, and fourth years, um, we have the Melda Murray Student Center on the Sexton campus, which is a one-stop shop for student services. Um, we have people from the upper campus come down and, and make sure that everything that students need is available. They also offer um, spaces for some of the um, students to um, hold events and um, they have for example they have um, resume writing workshops they have Excel workshops that kind of thing so uh, the Melda Murray Student Center is a great spot for anybody who needs anything at all. So we want to thank you very much for stopping by and uh, watching this uh, short video uh, we know that you may still have many, many questions, and uh, we leave you this website. Uh, if you contact us at engineering at dal.ca, somebody will be there to uh, take your question and, and uh, direct it to the person that has the correct answer for you. And uh, we'll get back to you with whatever questions that you might have that remain in your mind. So thank you so much for your interest in Dalhousie. We look forward to seeing you in the Faculty of Engineering. And uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah, we'll see you in September. Thanks.